loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is your astro and intuitive forecast for the week of January 14th, 2019. So before I get started on this, I really do wanna say that I'm in this heightened sense of, of sensitivity today and my feelings, my emotions are really, really high. I'm not sure if it's because I'm on my moon cycle at the current um, moment in time, which I respect and I love, or if it's because this message is comes with emotion with it. And you guys know that sometimes when I feel these things, I really feel them and I am feeling it this morning. So I do have tissue just in case I cry. I'm actually in a very good spot emotionally and in my life right now. So I don't want anybody to think that you know, oh my gosh, Jess is going through something. I'm actually very happy, but this is just a part of the process of what readings sometimes look like for me. I will, you know, my emotions kind of get involved and they spill out sometimes because I feel when I do a, a general reading for a large audience, you know, I'm, I'm really opening myself or the energy to share what it is that someone needs to hear. And for that, I can get emotional, but it comes and it goes. And as I was writing it down, I did feel those feelings kind of stirring. But that being said, let's go ahead and talk about it. Let's go ahead and dive in. So the week starts with January 14th, 2019. And as I was sitting in my meditation, I started getting this image of, you know, fractures and cracks within ourselves. And almost we're looking at the mirror. We're looking at our reflection in the mirror and we're seeing, see, I'm getting emotional already. Wow. We're looking at ourselves and we are non-judgmental, ideally. We're looking at ourselves, ideally, with love and seeing ourselves with truth and honesty and what that can sometimes feel like and what that can sometimes look like and what our reflection in the mirror can look like. And what I'm seeing, when I saw this person or when I saw us looking into this mirror, I'm seeing the number three. And the number three is so interesting, it's so symbolic, especially right now because we're 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 in the energy of the Empress for the year for the year of 2019. We're in the the energy of the hanged man for 2019. Both of those cards, both of those energies are very much present for all of 2019. And with that, that means that there's a lot of trust and faith and allowing things to kind of flow. And it's interesting that the number three came through because three is the number of almost perfection and things flowing together. We're not fighting. We're not forcing. You're going to keep hearing me say this all of 2019. We're not pushing for things to happen until it's time for us to make it happen. We're allowing things to flow. And with the number three, this is when aspects come together, usually in a trine, meaning like there's three different aspects that come together, that flow together in order to create the perfect moment in time. Now, I can't, I can't tell if this is going to be happening on the third day of this week, which would be Wednesday, which would be the 16th, or if there's the number, the sim symbolism of the number three that is going to be making itself known and apparent this week. But it was definitely the number three, which is these three different elements coming together in order to create this flow. And how that ties and connects to this, this image of this symbol that I received of us looking at ourselves in the mirror and seeing these fra fractured aspects of ourselves, I feel like that's one of the third components. It's that up until this point, things may not have been perfect, or at least in your eyes, they don't seem like they're perfect. They don't seem like things are going to work out. But the reality is, is that everything is so connected. And you are a part of that puzzle piece. You are, in fact, a map or the, the coming together of different aspects to create your perfect image, this imperfect, per perfect image. And that is the nature of the universe, and that is the nature of how, how things are going to work out in your life. They may not make sense to you, your brain in that moment, L looking at it from your perspective. It may not make sense, but these aspects, these three aspects, these three components are coming together right now to flow in order to create this, this birth, this creation. And three actually is the number of creation. Something because all of these aspects have happened, now the timing is right. It's like three is the number of like the Holy Trinity. 
you see it over and over and over again in the Bible, which things needed to wait to manifest. Things needed to come to completion after the third, on the third. Or there were three things that had to come together in order to create this perfect image, this perfect completion, this perfect whatever. And But those three pieces are separate. They're fractured. They're different. They're different aspects. They're different aspects. They come from different directions. And when you look at the, your reflection in the mirror and you see yourself, there are things that have happened in order to create fractures within you. And in the moment, it doesn't make sense. In the moment, it may hard, be hard for you to put those pieces together, but they're there and they're, they're there for a reason. And what happens is that if you are experiencing pain right now, um, if you look at your reflection in the mirror, or if you're looking at your life, or if you're trying to set intention, especially as the eclipse is earlier on next week on Monday, but just because it's next week doesn't mean that we're not feeling it already now because the energy is building. The energy is coming to a head, especially with full moons. It's a full moon eclipse. Full moons are heightened, highly emotional times in all of our lives. It's when all aspects of ourselves are stripped back and totally revealed, and even more so when it's an eclipse. And that's what we're dealing with. When these aspects when all of these pieces come together and come to a head, it can be emotional to sit with it and to look at it and say, you know what, this is what it is. This is the truth of what it is. That's what I was saying last week. And if you don't remember, you can go back in that video. You can go back in that video and look and, 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 and listen to me talk about the truth getting pushed down and surged up. It's this acknowledgement and recognition of this is what this is. And well, how does that make you feel when you see this? Sometimes it's you examining yourself and saying, this is who I am. And I have to accept it, the aspects that I can keep or the aspects that I need to learn how to love. Or I can say, this needs to be changed. or This needs to evolve. I need to do things differently. Sun conjunct Pluto last week pushes down on the truth. And the image that I got was almost like a toothpaste paste. Um, toothpaste tube that pushes the truth out and expels it. And then other ask, the other image that I got was like a pimple, which means that all of these things are coming together and that you push on it or the universe pushes on it and it pops and releases and you can see, you know, you know, what has been building up, whether that be toxic, whether that be emotion, whether it feel good, whether it feel difficult or challenging. So that's what was happening last week is this build up, this build up, this build up and this push down. And it really requires, you know, a sense of faith in, in a sense of, you know what, I allow myself to be so vulnerable right now. I allow myself to be so open to this. And again, you know, the when you're vulnerable, all, a lot of your feelings get triggered because, you know, you're then in a sensitive spot. What's going to happen next? This is my heart's desires. This isn't working out. This is what I wanted. It's not coming to fruition. It's not coming to manifestation, but this is what I truly wanted. And the universe is showing you that this can't exist. This can't go on. This can go on. Work with this. And it, what it's doing is it's revealing left and right. But what ends up happening a lot of times is that pieces of you can be fractured. Pieces of you are getting broken down. Um, in a lot of ways, this is painful because, again, it's the ego. The ego, when I say this word, people get so defensive because they're like, oh, I'm not egocentric. I'm not self-focused. And I'm not saying that. When I say ego, it's our perception of ourselves, how we identify with ourselves, how we understand ourselves to be. And that is developed over time because this is what the world teaches you. This is how your parents teach you to understand yourself. This is how your um, your colleagues and your friends and your community, your society shapes you to understand yourself to be. But the universe and the divine energy within you knows the true essence of your core being. So when there's certain aspects of your ego that don't match the reality and the truth of what of who you are and what you're destined to become and where you're destined to go, it will it will work to break those things down. So who you think you are or who you think or how you think things will be, they will start to get cracked at and or chipped at and broken down, especially starting with last week. And what it is that I'm seeing here is, and it's so funny because last night during my meditation, I understood that this stubbornness that people hold on to, it's 
you know, we almost glorify people who are stubborn because we're like, look how, you know, set in their ways they are. Look how, you know, independent or they just don't budge. You know, this is who we are. We have to respect it. And they can call that self-love or self-protection when in reality they're cursing themselves because it's that stubborn energy which cannot flow. It's so stuck and red and rigid in its ways that it simply will not allow itself to flow. And that is not a good space to be in. There is a moment, there's there's times in your life where in your life where you do have to have self-protection and self-preservation. And there are times where you have to say no, and there's times when you have to do things a certain way, and you're called to do th- some things a certain way. But there are also times in your life in your life where you have to flow and you have to let that wall down. And the reason why people hold that wall up is because at some point in their life, they were hurt. At some point in their life, they approached something from a sensitive, you know, space and something rejected them or something lashed out at them or something hurt them or it didn't work out the way that they expected it to. So they put that wall up and they're just like, I'm not changing. This is how I'm going to do things. And I will not do it any other way because the last time I did it this way, it backfired. It blew in my face. It blew up in my face. And I walked out of that limping. When in reality, sometimes the universe puts you in certain positions or sometimes you attract certain things into your life because it was there to serve a lesson, to serve a purpose, but you're not meant to carry that, the hurt and the baggage of that forward into the future. You're meant to, to, uh, to trust and to be open and to do, try again, to try again, to flow into it. And that's what it is that I'm seeing. And it's a lot to take in. I understand, but that's what it is that I'm seeing here. It's you really want to make sure that, sure that you're not being stubborn, that you're not being rigid because the number three and all of the energy of 2019 is about flow, effortless flow. And to flow, you cannot be rigid. You cannot box yourself up. In fact, that's one of the things here that I wrote down is where is this energy being trapped? When you start seeing this breakdown of yourself and this breakdown of this ego, what you're seeing is, you know, the ability to actually flow because these walls, these cracks that have been created of what you have created or what society has um, created for you, those areas are starting to break down so that the real you, the authentic you, the unconditional, like loving you, the you know, the beauty of who you are, the essence of who you are can now flow through because of all these separate aspects that are coming together and have happened in order to, um, to fracture you and to break you, break you open, to crack you open. They don't, they're not there to break you down in the way that, you know, it's going to leave you in a state that is weakened. It's there to put you in a spot where you're different now. You're more open you, you know who you are. You know the essence of your being. And sometimes looking at that makes you very vulnerable. And being vulnerable like that, seeing this soft core and seeing the truth of who you are and what you want, it, 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 it again, it makes you feel weak. It makes you feel almost powerless. And other times, you know, it, it can make people feel, it can make, it can call people to step up into that and say, you know what, because of this happening to me, I refuse to let this, you know, lock me up. I actually no, realized that I did nothing wrong or I realized that I would, I'll do this differently and I'll take that with me and I'll apply it to the next situation. The other thing that this will teach you is that there's some aspects that you simply cannot hold on to any longer. Again, that's rigid, stubborn energy. That's, you know, I am fearful of the future or I'm afraid of letting go, but either way it's fear. And what I'm seeing, starting with last week, with Sun conjunct Pluto, and as we move into this week, fear just is simply not a factor. It shouldn't be a factor. And yes, it's it's there for a reason, and yes, we acknowledge it. It shouldn't serve a, um, an exclusive role in your life. It shouldn't make your decision. With the number three, this is realizing that some things, aspects, these certain aspects, they're coming together for your greater good, for your greater flow. And instead of you locking into the old, 
what we're going to do is flow into your destiny. We're going to flow into your into your future. We're going to flow into the arms of love. We're going to allow love to flow to us. We're going to allow healing to flow to us. We're going to allow abundance to flow to us. We're going to open up to the ways in which this can happen. We're going to open up into the ways in which this is allowed to be. You are then going to step into the space of, I receive this. No, I'm not a broken person. And if I do say that I'm broken, it's because I'm broken in all the right ways in order to release and let go of these aspects that were no longer serving me. So that these fractures of my spirit, so these, these fractures of my ego, my perception, actually allow light in. That's what's happening here. It's not that you're walking around bruised and battered. It's that these, these aspects, the light of the essence of who you are is coming through and starting to shine through. So instead of looking that in, in your reflection in your mirror and judging it and being afraid of it or fearful of it, we are going to say, you know what? I accept this. I allow this to be. This is who I am. This is what I want. This is what I receive now. I don't accept anything less than, than what it is that I deserve. I, I trust what the universe is bringing into my life. I want what the universe is bringing into my life because it's better because I've lived and I've learned because of these past circumstances. And now I'm opening up to this now because this is actually perfection. The uh, other aspect that I wanted to share with you guys is that when you are cracked open, when you are fractured like this, when you start to see this shell of of who you thought you were starting to crack off and fall off and shed you are going to see that you have nothing to hide you have nothing to hide this is the essence of who you are and it is so worthy of being loved it's so worthy of being accepted it's so worthy of being provided and protected and valued and i think that um in today's society you know a lot of people are walking around with these masks and these hardened shells you know we paint ourselves in certain ways and we put our, we put this mask on or we put this identity out there and we, we try to paint this idea of perfection when in reality you know, some of us are broken and we're just reacting upon those broke, those, those hurt, those hurting aspects, those hurting pieces of ourselves. Instead of looking at the broken and being like, this is, this is who I am. Like, yeah, this scar here happened because of this. And I learned this. And now this is what I want to do differently. The message that came through with that is your vulnerability will be your strength, but being vulnerable is that soft spot, that sensitive spot. But your vulnerability, that soft spot, is where the strength is, which is crazy. And it's so counterintuitive to the world that we live in right now, again, where everyone is so guarded, but it's because they have those walls up. But the crazy thing is, is that when you let your guard down, when you let your wall down, and you allow people in that deserve to be there, and that, you know, you are, and when I say you're allowing people in, it's because they match your vibration. They have good intention for you. They've shown that they have good intention for you. They approach you with love. They approach you with respect. They want to invest in you. And this isn't just romantic relationships or platonic or um, family relationships. This is your relationship with your work. This is relationship with your health. This is relationship with the things that it is that you're you know, bringing into your life that from food to objects or things to a home environment to a new location. These are things that are, are serving you by the energy in a way that is constructive and allows you to thrive. The only way for you to be able to bring those aspects in is if you yourself allow the essence of who you are to be revealed. And for you to have, a, not a filter, but be very, very protective of as you're flowing of what you are allowing to come into your space because it is very vulnerable. With that, I see calling in protection. I see calling in the protection of your angels and your guides and also the universe and the divine to come in and say, you know what? I commit to being my most authentic self. I commit to myself being vulnerable. I commit to myself, you know, accepting that this is what I want and this is what I want my life to look like. And because this is what it is that I want, then I need to step up and allow myself to be, to hide nothing. And what happens is when you don't hide the truth of who you are and your voice and your intention, people will sense that, people will feel that, and they will also lower their guard. So instead of you coming up with this weapon and this defense mechanism up, 
people sense that this is a safe spot and they too will lower their guard and they too will put their weapons down and they will approach you in the same way. If they can't do that, you have to allow that to flow away. You have to allow that to flow out of your life. But again, it's all about this energy flow. Something is really being born here. Something is being created this week, but it will only come from you making that conscious decision to approach it from this space of accepting the reflection of yourself in the mirror and these different um, fractured aspects of yourself, looking at it and seeing the essence of your spirit and investing in that and nurturing that and valuing that, respecting that, loving those aspects of yourself and making a conscious decision and conscious decisions that reflect what you saw in that mirror. And then every decision that you make, let it be out of love. Let it be out of love for yourself. Choose people that want to give to you. Choose people that allow you to thrive. Choose situations that allow you to thrive. It will require you to be vulnerable but it is always worth it. Something is being created this week only if you consciously choose it. If you decide to stay stubborn, we are going to leave you. I'm not kidding. If you decide to stay stubborn, if you decide to stay rigid, we are all going to leave you because no one, not my tribe, not me, not people who are striving to be the authentic versions of themselves who are moving from love, light, and healing. No one is going to tolerate energy that is stuck in their ways, stuck in their toxic ways, that doesn't want more for themselves, that doesn't want to flow, that wants to force, that wants to fight. No one is entertaining that in 2019. If you decide, if you consciously just decide to stay in this old stagnant way that is not serving you, Everyone leaves. We move on. And all that is left is what you created, which is stagnant and toxic. It's not going anywhere. It's, you know, less than mentality. It's lack mentality. It blocks out blessings. That's where you stay. So you can't get mad when the rest of the world or the rest of your tribe is moving forward and prospering and being creative and living good lives and eating well and loving well and has you know their heart's greatest desires coming to mani coming to manifestation left and right you can't get mad at them for living their best lives because you decided to stay stuck in your ways and then the rest of the tribe is celebrating each other the rest of the tribe is empowering each other and speaking life into each other because we consciously chose that and because we consciously chose that we found each other and we are learning from each other. We are growing from each other. We are giving energy exchanges from each other because we have it so we can share it. We are filled so we can give. It's a conscious decision that it is that you make this week. Now, when it comes to the astrological aspects of this week on the 14th, Mercury um, ruling the mind, the communication meets up with Neptune. Neptune is the planet of, you know, connecting to the divine. So it's on, it's this, conversation, it's these messages that we hear, it's this idea, it's this dialogue that you have. Choose for that dialogue to come from a space of authentic expression. The 16th is a day that I want us to look out for. There aren't any major um, aspects there that are really standing out to me, but again, it's the number of three, so I'm wondering if on the third day of this week something's going to happen. So fill me in if something happens or any type of development, don't force it. Don't force it, don't fight it, allow it to flow. If it happens, then it happens. Leave it down in the comments, but it would just act as confirmation for me and what it is that I was receiving. So I'm curious to hear how that you know will play out for you. On the 18th, again, this is Divine Feminine meeting with Divine Masculine. This is Venus and Mars coming together and flowing together in a synchronistic, beautiful, energetic flow. Venus is connected to love, beauty, money, attraction, and Mars is about how we do, how we strive, how we wish to achieve, how we wish to accomplish. Mars is moving through the sign of Aries. Venus is moving through the sign of Sagittarius. So it's really about being in a spot where you are open-minded and you're willing to be moved. You're willing to take that step because you start to flow. This is, again, the gates kind of opening up and the water starting to flow. So something is being done here. Something has been created. And then, you know, it starts to move. It starts to get manipulated. It starts to come to life. It's really interesting to see how this will happen. This is a really awesome day for love, for 
for money, for creative projects, it, 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 for travel, for, in, no, I don't want to say investing, but for building up on your passion, whatever that looks like, and it's different for everyone. On that same day, Mercury, the planet of communication, meets with Pluto, the planet of transformation. So again, it's this profound conversation, this profound dialogue, this meeting of the minds. But that can only happen when parties are open. That can only happen when parties are willing to flow. And if people or things around you are not you know, allowing themselves to be open to it, then you have to accept that for what it is, and you leave it. You leave it. It's, I don't want to call it abandonment, but you really do. You leave it in the dust and you move forward because there's something else for you. You can't drag things with you. Or if they refuse to move, leave it. Leave it in the dust. There's something out there. There's something else out there for you. Don't wait for it. If you are being called to flow, you flow and you leave things. It's like, you know, watching the, the waves of the ocean. The ocean will bring what needs to, you know, to the shore and it'll take what needs to be released back out into the ocean because it's this cycle that's going on and you yourself have to respect it and you have to flow. Just like the river moves down, you know, down the mountain, that's you flowing. You're not fighting it. You're not trying to push your way up the mountain as water. You're flowing with it. So mo movement happens. Things happen in your life, not because you forced it, but because you've allowed it to flow. And then on the 19th, again, I'm seeing this ego aspect kind of getting broken down. This is where I'm starting to see a little bit of the fractures of, you know, of people revealing themselves in a lot of ways and it can come in in shocking revelations, things that we might not have expected, we might not have predicted. I really want us to all be careful, you know, take care of yourself, call in the energy of protect of protection because it's so spontaneous and with Mars moving through the sign of Aries, yes, there's the protection of the planets and Venus kind of reeling her man in a little bit, but there's still this impulsive essence and vibe here that I just want you guys to look out for. Don't push, don't provoke, don't do anything reckless. If you're accident prone, you know, don't do anything stupid. I mean, I don't have to tell you that, but it's just, but the other way that this energy can manifest itself is again, you know, the ego getting fractured and blown apart or aspects of the fractures within you getting revealed and cracked apart. It's almost like if there's cracks within the concrete and then it rains and then that rain freezes over and it pushes the concrete, uh, separates the concrete and makes those cr um, cracks even deeper, that's not necessarily a bad thing. When the ice melts, you start to see that there's dirt there and there's seeds that were planted there from the rains that have happened before and now that will start to grow because of those cracks. So where there was once something stubborn and where there was once something cemented, whatever it was that flew in or started to flow in, now has served its purpose. It's pushed those cracks even further apart and now something can actually grow from that vulnerable space, which is what we were talking about all this entire video and as the sun moves into the sign of Aquarius, Aquarius is a sign of doing things different, differently, connecting with mankind, connecting with the greater good, doing things your own way, following the beat of your own drummer because you have looked at yourself, you've looked at the reflection of yourself in the mirror, you saw the essence of who you were, you didn't reject it, you actually loved it, you accepted it and you decided that uh, I'm okay with this, I love this, I'm going to protect this, I'm going to give her whatever she wants, what does she want? Um, whatever it is that that looks like is what I will allow to flow into my life and where I will allow myself to flow. And then on the 21st, we have the Leo Eclipse, which is going to be a game changer. I'm going to do my best to film that maybe today, but probably not. It's probably going to be Tuesday or Wednesday or later on in the day because there's a lot to talk about there. And when we talk about the heart busting open in a good way, that's what we have with the Leo clips. So I hope that this makes a lot of sense, you guys. If you love this video, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Share it on your social media. Share it in your IG stories. That's a great way of saying, you know, thanks just for this message or it applied or whatever. You know, leave your comments down in the comments down below. I read all of them. I try to respond to as many as I can 
but they make a difference and also a lot of your comments act as confirmation for what it is that I'm seeing and feeling. I don't want to be sitting here pulling cards and feeling all these emotions knowing that they're not mine exclusively and then never knowing why or why they came through or who they've helped or if they didn't help. So you know your comments really do make a difference and I know that it's hard again to put yourself out there and to be vulnerable but again this is a sacred space that I've created for all of us to share and I'm just honored and grateful to be here and to share it with you in the way that I have. So yeah, that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. I'm sending you all the love and light from my heart to yours. Bye.